Hello and welcome to this course on MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in week 11 of this course and here we have started discussing partial differential equations. In this particular video, which I hope will be a relatively short video, I am going to talk about different solution approaches for solving PDEs. I am not going to take any examples to solve yet, but I am going to very broadly talk about this various solution approaches that are followed in uh, solving various PDEs. Okay, so we should note that PDEs form a very broad range of problems. As a result, one solution does not fit all. For different types of PDEs, there are different approaches in order to solve. PDEs can get very complicated very soon. And if you have complex set of PDEs, you will actually have a lot of commercial softwares that are available for a very, very specific type of PDEs. Okay, we're not going to cover those, of course, in this particular course. Okay. Now, we need to realize that from what we saw in the previous uh, previous lecture, okay, there are certain PDEs that are PDEs only in space and these PDEs usually are of elliptic nature. Which is the example of heat equation and you have PDEs that are in time and space. These are usually parabolic or hyperbolic okay but more than that the reason for talking about pds that are in space and pds that are in time is something very important okay space can vary both in negative as well as positive direction but time varies only in the positive direction as a result of this the nature of the solution and the nature of techniques that you can ap uh, apply for uh, PDEs that are only in space versus PDEs that are in time and space can be different. Okay, uh, So that is one way of thinking about how to solve the PDEs. One is uh, uh, PDEs in space have one type of approaches and PDEs in time and space have other type of approaches. That's one way of thinking about it. The second way of thinking about it is elliptic PD solution techniques are going to be different than the solution techniques for parabolic and hyperbolic and first order PDEs. Okay? Okay, so what are the approaches to solve PDEs in space as well as PDEs in time and space? The approaches for solving PDEs in space and PDEs in time and space is to difference the domain. Okay, just as we have done in the previous week for solving boundary value problems, we can use finite difference approach for, for discretizing the PDEs. If, for example, if you have PDE in this grid, we can distribute this into n number of domains here and n number of domains over here. Okay, So you will get m plus 1 multiplied by n plus 1 number of variables. So these are the large number of variables that you will get that you can solve using using any of your numerical solution approaches. The other two approaches are very very specific approaches. Those are one is called a finite volume approach and one is called a finite element approach. Both finite volume and finite element approaches are beyond the scope of this particular course. Okay, and I'm not going to talk about them at all. Uh, some of the commercial softwares that are available are based either on finite volume or finite element approaches. Uh, for example, uh, ANSYS Fluent or uh, 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 other CFD softwares uh, such as OpenFoam are softwares that use finite volume approach. On the other hand, softwares such as ComSol are softwares that use finite element approach in solving the various PDEs. Okay. Now, what if the PDEs are PDEs in time and space? One of the pop popular and powerful approaches for solving PDEs in time and space is called method of lines. Okay, so what does method of line do? Method of lines will use finite difference in order to convert PDEs into ODEs. Okay, for example, if the PDE is dt by dt equal to say alpha d square t, Okay, this we use finite difference approach. Okay, so you will get dti by dt equal to okay, 
and this you can solve this using method of lines okay so this is the other type of type of approach okay what we are going to do in the rest of uh, this week is we will take method of lines for hyperbolic and parabolic pdes and we will also take a finite difference approach for a cup for a couple of examples we are not going to solve an example using the finite difference approach i will show the finite difference approach based solution technique so that you are aware of it and in future if you need to use it you can very well learn uh, learn about this we are going to primarily focus on the method of lines in the next two lectures we will first cover method of lines for parabolic pdes then we will cover method of lines for hyperbolic pdes thereafter we are going to talk about finite difference approach for parabolic hyperbolic and elliptic pdes and finally we are going to talk about an implicit approach which is called a crank nicholson approach so the plan for this week is next lecture method of lines for parabolic pdes then i will talk about method of lines for hyperbolic and finally two lectures finite difference for pdes okay so that's going to be our game plan for the rest of this week okay so with that I come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching these videos and I hope these are going to be very useful and you will get very nicely introduced to these concepts of solving partial differential equations. Thanks and bye.